Ready, set, go. Greetings undetermined spectators of the World Wide Web. I am Tall Anga Guy and welcome back to Delta Rune. We're um we're heading into some sort of weird amusement park. Oh hey Susie, glad you're actually coming along. A castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside a, don a supply closet? We're clearly no longer in the supply closet, Susie. I don't know why. Don't know why you're stuck on that. Welcome, heroes. Uh, who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Okay, I'll be at the judge of that. Please come forward, both of you. Okay, okay, who are you? Who, what's... Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. That's a little sketchy. Like, I don't... I'm trying not to judge. But when you're the prince of the kingdom of darkness, that means you're the prince of darkness, which in my book is the devil. So, you gotta... It's an uphill battle for you to redeem yourself, your friend. Chris, Susie, he knows our he knows our names. Good, that's great. There is a legend in this land, a legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. All right, guess it's story time. Yeah, sure. Very well then. Here we go. Story time with Mr. Prince of Darkness. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. Okay. It was a legend of hope, or it was a legend of dreams. It was a legend of light. It was a legend of dark. This is the legend of Delta Room. Roll credits, friends! For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance. Bringing peace to the world. Cool. This is some. Alright. But if this harmony were to, to, to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. Okay, so we got some yin and yang stuff going on here. The sky will run black with terror. And the land will crack with fear. Okay. Then, her heart pounding. And the earth will draw her final breath. Wow, this is some apocalyptic stuff going on here. Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at world's edge. Um, a human, a monster, and the prince from the dark. Okay, okay, so you're gonna be joining us. Cool. Only they can seal the fountains. Cool. And banish the angels to heaven. Banish the angels, heaven? Uh, only then will balance be restored and the world saved from destruction. See, today the fountain of darkness, yes, the geyser that gives this land form, and hey, stands tall at the center of the kingdom. Gotcha. But recently, Another fountain has appeared on the horizon. Okay, so I so we've got a little bit of imbalance going on here. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Got it. Okay, so that is a problem. Yeah. Cool. All right. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. It wasn't that long. It wasn't it was no more than like 2 or 3 minutes. Honestly, it wasn't that long. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend. Well, that's cool. That's good to know. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. All right, so we've got a we've got a pretty straightforward quest going on this time. Delta warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? Well, if it's my destiny, then I suppose I might as well. Uh, no. Nah. Excuse me, Susie, did you not listen to the... What? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You got the wrong person. Clearly, 
you've got the wrong impression as to who you can be. But Susie, without you, the, the world will. So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. Well, it is, considering you live on the world. So, Susie, you gotta think, you gotta think this through. Might be even kind of fun, honestly. It will not be fun. It'll be a whole lot of death. Uh -huh. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait. Uh, oh, 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 no, oh, oh, no, oh. <laughs> the heroes are already running away. <laughs> and they didn't even know I was here. <gasps> My dad's gonna make me son of the month. Who the hell are you? I'm... The bad guy. Oh. Okay. Cool. Oh, I like his theme. That's a fun little theme. I like it. You clowns want to see our dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns? Save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Uh, don't try to deny it! We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm, nice plan, kid. Re really? Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? <laughs> I like I like the way you think, Susie. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh boy! Ooh! It's battle time! Lancer busts in. I'm gonna see if I can go past this tier. Lancer. Uh, compliment. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. I don't know how that's a compliment, but hey, he seems flattered. His attack went pa his attack power went down. Oh boy. Oh, you make my feelings do wheelies, sweet wheelies. Oh boy. Okay, cool. So I'm alright. Don't know how I got an axe, but like, that's cool. Alright. Uh, act. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Let's check him. Attack 7, defense 1. Not to call a spade a spade, but... He's a spade! Yeah. Not old enough to ride a motorcycle, so he set his bike on fire. Wow. That, wow, that says a lot. Great. Alright. I love to get crazy thrashed. Just kidding! That's you! Ow! Ow! Gosh dang it! Hello! 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 I'm not good at this quite yet. Lancer's a mo motorcycle is actually just a bike that's on fire. Right. Yes, we knew that. Lancer, uh, I'm gonna warn ya. I warn ya. You gotta tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. Oh no, he missed. So what are you guys doing after this? Um, I don't know. That was pretty easy. Lancer's riding it out. I guess, should I, do I have to actually? Can I spare you? Chris spared Lancer, but its name wasn't yellow. Shoot. Okay. Never mind then. <laughs> I'm the bad guy. Whoop. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Sorry about that, Susie. Wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. You don't have fuel on that. All right, you punkaroos. Really? Punkaroos? You had the luck of the draw this time, but next time the losers will be you. <laughs> Bye, losers. I gotta get home before dinner. Okay, we won. Cool. So far, Pass Fist is working out. Are you getting to okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jeez, can you take off that hood? Yeah, I can barely hear you under there. Yeah, that's, that's fair. 
Uh, um, all right. Oh. oh, oh, aren't you adorable? You're not getting, I'm not gonna give you this pleasant voice. This is gonna, um, hello everyone, I'm Rousey. Sorry, I couldn't hear my Irish accent under the robe. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I am certain we're going to become great friends, and... The best way to leave is east, right? Uh, yes. That's where we'll... Got it. Okay. See you at school, Chris. But wait, Su Susie? Oh. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us, then. Yeah, I guess so. Hopefully that doesn't affect the props or whatever. Chris, I'm a prince, but I um, currently don't have any subjects. <laughs> I've been waiting alone here um, my whole life for you two to arrive. Wow, that is dedication. I like this kid, so I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Okay, yeah, I hope so too. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. All right. You can lead the way, Chris. All right. I guess we're heading southeast. And Rousey, the Lonely Prince, is now your ally. Great. The power of fluffy boys shines within you. Yes, it does. The fluffiest boys. Uh, nothing but a fluffy boy for me. All right. Are any of these open yet? It looks like a shop, but the door is locked, and no one's inside. Okay, what about the inn? No, it's locked? Okay, I'm gonna assume all of them. Well, I never assume with these games. I'm gonna check again, just in case. Okay, so, the east. Yes. Here we are. Hello. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, Chris, it's the train and dummy I made. Oh, are we gonna get another dummy theme? Now it seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like to m me to teach you how to fight? Ah, uh, not really. I think I'd rather figure it out already. Right, you already f fought Lancer, didn't you? I was so excited to teach you, I absolutely blanked. But, uh, um, just in case you forgot anything. Here, I made a manual for you and Susie. Thank you. Proceed to open the, the menu and use it in your items. Cool. You got the manual. Good to know. Hey there, friend. How's it going? It's just a dummy. Great. Wait, that means I would've... Um, missed the dummy theme. Oh well. Oh my! The great door is open. No wonder Lancer was able to come through. Eh. Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. As it always does with a giant door. A journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But, Chris, I believe your choices are important too. Are they? Are they? Are they? Because I can't tell. So far I've been told the opposite. This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. That is what I've heard in the in previous games, but... So let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that... I believe this tale may have a happy ending. I think so too. Otherwise, I fear that it may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that too much to ask? No, I can handle it. I can definitely handle it. Chris, I knew you were a hero the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, all right? All right, let's get a moving. Let's go. Uh, oh boy. Did he close that door? Or, ooh, this is pretty. I like this. With the door closed behind you, your adventure will truly begin. The power of, of adventure shines within you. Cool. Outside the great door. This is very nice. I love it. All right, moving right on along. Here we go. A field of hopes and dreams. Cool. All right, enemies ahead. You're going to die. Signed, Lancer. Okay. Well, if I had known it was signed by Lancer, I would have read it in his voice, but whatever. Hello! Oh, oh, well. Rudin drew near. Okay, Rudin. Um, I'm gonna convince you. Yeah. Um, magic? 
pacify? Or maybe item? Manual? Uh, no, I can't spare him. Okay, I guess I'll defend. Yeah, you told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Nice. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Cool. Well, that's good. I'm glad. Okay. Here's a little bit. Okay, nice. Nice. Didn't... Gruden dislikes its boss, but doesn't care enough to quit. Spare him. Sparing him. Nice. Chris spared Rudin. Awesome. You won. Good, good. Well, that works out. I love this music. If you're reading this, if you're reading this, I guess you're dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm... Lancer, I don't think you understand how reading works. So, we're just gonna keep moving. Um, alright, I need to... I'm just gonna read this sign. Hey, don't read this sign, it's a work in progress! <laughs> Signed, Lancer. Okay, hey friend. You don't look like an enemy, so I'm gonna talk to you. Oh, oh wait, it's, it's Lancer! <laughs> if it isn't my two favorite people. Scythe, you guys aren't even my, in my top five. Lancer, where's Susie? You mean the purple girl? <laughs> you fools, you're too late to stop me. What did you do? <laughs> it was so simple. She beat me up, so I ran away. That's a bit anticlimactic. Well, yeah, you're right, it is. Where should we, where should we go? I'm gonna go down south. Oh, what's down here? What do we got then? These types of trees don't contain an item that can heal you. Whatever you do, don't check the tree and use C to open your menu. You got it? Silent, okay. There are two objects hanging from the tree. Yes. Take one? Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Got the dark candy. There's a candy hanging, hanging from the tree. Take one? Yes, please. Got the dark candy. Cool. Nice. Got it. See ya, Lancer. Hey, if you head that way, my troops will thrash you. <laughs> Is that a threat? I prefer to think of it as an invitation. Oh, Lancer. Even as a... Even as a... As a bad guy, you're delightful. I'm gonna... Okay. Alright, friend. A necklace of... Ru a necklace of Rudin's blocks your path. That's a strange... Name for a group of things. Uh... This guy... Uh... And... Defend... Told Rudin to quit, and quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Cool. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Face my diamond cutter! Oh no. Oh boy. Whoop. Cool. Good, good. Rudin is glimmering patiently. Act. And... Uh, Rudin, convince. You can spare that guy! Cool. Spare Rudin. Does that make sense? Cool. Nice. Alright. Getting it done. And spare him. And spare him. Nice. I'm, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing good. Doing good here. Alright. Moving right on along. But, unfortunately, ooh, we're going to have to talk to these characters in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching. This is in becoming just always getting more and more delightful as we go. So, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. If you uh, want to leave thoughts, comments, questions, put them in the comments. If you haven't subscribed or rung the bell, those are things you can do. I'll see you later.